in this picture we have a book binder. Um, there are different ways of making books. One way is to make a scroll, which is still made by the Jews. And the scroll is made by taking sheets of parchment or paper. If it's paper, the sheets are glued to each other, one sheet to the next. If it's parchment, then the sheets are sewn um, to connect them to each other. And that makes a long roll um, called a scroll or a volume. And nowadays we have a type of book called a codex, C-O-D-E-X, which we just call a book. And a bookbinder binds the books. Um, what he does is he wipes the paper, the back of each sheet of paper, um, with gum water and folds all the papers together. And then he beats them with a hammer. Um, and then what he does is he stitches them up and he puts them in a press here and presses all the pages together. And he rounds off the, the back to make sure the back is smooth with a round knife which you can see here is a special kind of knife which he uses to round off the back of the the book and then he covers this um, the pages which have now been stuck down and pushed together he covers them with a parchment cover which you can see here to make them very pretty and he decorates the book um, with clasps which are these things here. Um, and what we see here in picture number four, which I missed out, is him busy beating the pages together um, to get the book into shape. Of course, nowadays, um, all of this is done by powerful machines and people aren't involved, unless it's a very rare, expensive book. And handmade books are still made um, because there are people who will pay a lot of money for a beautiful handmade book.